Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to talk about Kaggle Kaggle competitions, one of the best ways to test your data science and machine learning skills. If you have ever wondered how to start a Kaggle competition, how to improve your ranking, or how top Kagglers build winning solutions, then this video is for you. So let's dive in. So what are Kaggle competitions? Kaggle competitions are machine learning challenges where data scientists compete to build the best models. There are basically four types of competitions. Featured competitions which are hosted by companies with real world problems and big prices. Research competitions that are focused on academic and artificial intelligence research. Then we have the getting started competitions which are great for beginners to practice. And finally, we have the playground competitions, which are less competitive and ideal for learning. Some competitions even offer job opportunities for top performers. Now let us see how to join a Kaggle competition. Let us go through the step-by-step -step process of joining a Kaggle competition. First, we need to go to Kaggle.com and click on the competitions tab. Then we can choose a competition that matches your, our skill level. So we can either choose from all competitions. Then we have the featured competitions, which are premier challenges with prices. We also have the getting started ones, which, are, which have an approachable basic ML fundamentals. Then we have the research competitions, which are scientific and mainly scholarly challenges. We also have some community competitions, which are created by fellow Kagglers. We then also have some playground competitions which are fun practice problems. Then we have simulations in which we can train bots and we also have some open-ended exploration problems. So for today's video, let us uh, use the getting started competitions. So over here we can see that there are many competitions, LLM classification, fine tuning, spaceship, Titanic, store sales and there are like many competitions so we can choose any one competition with which we can we want to start so let me choose the spaceship titanic so in this see this competition runs indefinitely with a rolling leaderboard which means that this competition won't end and you can always submit uh, your solution to this competition so in the description we can see like what this competition is about so then the, one of the important topic is the evaluation like which metrics they are using for evaluating our submissions and uh, then we have the submission format that we need to follow this format while submitting our solution then uh, this was the, in the overview tab then we have the data in the data we have the data set competition like we have a train CSV file which has some records for about two-thirds of the passengers and this needs to be used as the training data it has like several columns such as the passenger ID the home planet the cryo sleep uh, etc then we have the test.csv which has the remaining records of the remaining one-third passengers and we need to use this as our test data so basically the task is to predict the value of the transported column this one the transported column for the passengers in this set and the final is the sample submission of csv we should need to create a submission file in the correct format which should have the passenger id column in which we'll have the id for each passenger in the test set followed by the transported which is the target column for each passenger we need to predict true or false then we have the code tab in which all the submitted notebooks you will be able to see then in the models we have like what everyone uh, which odd models people have used then in the discussion tab we have like some uh, topics on which people have like commented or some discussion forums then in the leaderboard we have like the leaderboard like uh, the team MLCV has the highest score of one and in the rules 
the competition rules we need to like read the rules before submitting our solution so the rules are that we have like one account per participant we cannot sign up to kaggle from multiple accounts and therefore we cannot submit from multiple accounts then we have like no private sharing outside teams we cannot share the code or data outside of our teams then team mergers uh, which means that it is allowed to merge different teams and in order to merge the combined team must have a total submission count less than or equal to the maximum allowed as of the team merger deadline then team limit says that if you are forming a team the maximum members we can have is 10 then the submission limit says we can submit a maximum of 10 entries per day and then the competition timeline that uh, this competition started on 23rd february 2022 and there is like no merger or entry deadline then we have some competition specific terms like who what is the title of the competition who is the sponsor and more such details then over here we can like form our team and over here this is like submission this will show all these uh, submissions uh, then we can see the successful submission and the submission which has some errors and we can upload our file which can be in the form of csv zip we can also browse the files and we need to write in some submission description or we can also uh, create a Kaggle notebook and then we can upload that notebook over here and then after we have uploaded a notebook or we have uploaded our file then we can click on submit once you have made a submission how do you improve your score you can add new features that provide more information then you can use hyperparameter tuning to optimize your models parameters for better accuracy you can also try using advanced models such as ex, uh, extreme gradient boost, light GBM or deep learning models such as TensorFlow or PyTorch to improve your score. Then you can combine multiple models to improve performance and you can also learn from top solutions by reading winning notebooks and discussions from past competitions. The more you experiment, the better you'll get. Some common mistakes that you should avoid while participating in the competition. Do not skip exploratory data analysis. You should always explore the data before jumping to models. Then you should not ignore evaluation metrics. You should choose the right metric for your problem. Overfitting, you should not train too much on the given data set. Instead, you should use cross-validation and the last is not reading discussions. Top calculators share amazing insights and you should learn from them. Kaggle competitions are an amazing way to level up your data science skills. Whether you are a beginner or an expert, there's always something new to learn. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more tutorials and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.